Hello guys and welcome to TechFluff. In this video we will talk about how to become a trader. As I have started trading back in 2015 and me myself I started as a forex trader. And I traded only approximately for 2 months. And then I moved into traditional market trading or stock market trading and futures trading. And shortly after that I moved into the crypto market trading. And here is why and first thing what you should know about trading. If you are trading forex market then you will be able to trade only only 5 days a week. 24 7 but 5 days a week Saturday Sundays you will not be able to trade as forex markets opens on Sunday 5 o'clock Eastern time and closes on Fridays 5 o'clock Eastern time and if you don't know what is forex forex trading is when you are trading different currencies forex stands for foreign exchange trading and by the way I have created here video what is forex trading if you are interested you can go in there and there I explain you everything what you need to know about forex trading and when I moved into trading traditional markets trading like stocks and futures there I also didn't like this schedule because there you can trade also 5 days a week but you can trade 24 7 there is market opening hours and market closing hours every single day so you can trade 24 7 as well and I gradually moved into cryptocurrency trading as cryptocurrency trading was just starting out and market volatility was much bigger however at those times it was in 2000 2016 2017 we didn't have many cryptocurrencies to trade i remember i was trading ethereum i was trading bitcoin i was trading litecoin those were the very first cryptocurrencies which were tradable at that time and at that time we had only about thousand cryptocurrencies in general when i started trading however if you are now trading cryptocurrency market or cryptocurrencies you have much bigger choice because there are thousands of cryptocurrencies which you can trade i also created a video here on 10 best trading platforms if you are interested in trading in general you can go and check out this video and if you are interested in crypto trading like I am now only trading crypto I am keeping away from financial markets because the cryptocurrency market is open 24 7 this means that you can trade at any time and there is no time limitations there are markets not closing or opening like it is with traditional markets so as like it is with forex trading there is more complex trading like options trading which I will also explain you in one of my future videos but in this video as title says I will give you just the basics of how to become a trader and by watching this video so far you already have learned something you have learned that there is forex market where you can trade different currencies you have learned that there are traditional markets where you can trade stocks or shares and you have learned that there is a futures markets futures markets is just a promises you are not trading a real assets but you are trading a contract for that particular stock this means that if you are holding opening or have a position in future this doesn't mean that you are holding a part of that company which you are trading for example Apple because you can trade the futures market or futures for Apple or any other company but that is just a promise contract this is not a stock you are not trading actual stock this means that you will also not be able to get dividends so as you have learned that there is a cryptocurrency market which you can also trade and forex market you can trade only five days a week 24 7 and monday to friday and stock market you can trade only five days a week and also five days a week but not 24 7 but there is market opening hours and market closing hours which is also widely used term in stock market trading market opening hour and market closing hour all it means is that when markets are opening or markets are closing and cryptocurrency markets you can trade 24 7 and next thing what you should know about trading is guys volatility and volatility is the best friend of trader of any trader who is out there because when the markets are volatile you can trade on movements and all volatility is in trading it is the movement of market whether price is going up or price is going down and you can trade markets both ways if you are trading market when it's go when the price is going up this means that you are longing market and if you are trading when prices are going down then this means that you are shorting market so you can make profits by a longing market when prices are going up for example if you think that particular asset price will go up you are longing market and you are making profits and if you think that prices will be going down for particular asset 
you are shorting market and you are making profits when market price of that particular asset is going down for example if bitcoin price is going up you are longing market or you, or you are in long position you will be making profits or if price will be going down for bitcoin and you will be shorting that market you will be making profits on price drops so as you can see here in trading we can trade both ways whether market is going up whether prices are going up or whether prices are going down so no further ado guys now i will give you the very basics of how to become a trader so how to become a trader this will be like a step by step guide and becoming a trader is an exciting journey that can offer financial independence and the thrill of the markets. However, it requires dedication, education and strategic planning. In this video, I will walk you through the essential steps to becoming a successful trader from understanding the basics to developing your trading strategies. Understanding the basics of trading. Before diving into the trading, it's crucial to understand the fundamentals. Trading involves buying and selling financial instruments such as stocks, bonds, forex or commodities with the goal of making profit. There are different types of trading including day trading, swing trading, position trading and scalping. Day trading assumes buying and selling assets with the same trading day. Swing trading assumes holding positions for several days or weeks and position trading assumes holding positions for weeks or months and scalping assumes making numerous small trades to capture tiny price movements. And to start trading you first thing which you should do is educate yourself as most successful traders which are out there they are self-educated rather than passing some school so education is the foundation of the successful trading here are some ways to build your knowledge read books books like a beginner's guide to forex trading by matthew driver or the intelligent investor by benjamin graham offers valuable insights you can also take online courses on platforms like coursera udemy and invest Investopedia, which offer courses on trading, basics, technical analysis and advanced strategies. I'm not providing any courses here on TechWolf, so don't even ask in comments. However, consider commenting or leaving comment on this video. Next thing how to educate yourself is webinars and seminars where you can attend online webinars or local seminars hosted by experienced traders and financial institutions. And there are also experienced traders here on YouTube where you can find the loads of different live streams where they are live streaming live whenever they are trading. However, if you are just starting out, that would be a little bit complicated for you to understand all terminology and everything everything what they are talking about. That's why the best thing would be to start reading some books or taking some online courses. Here on TechWolf I already started to create different videos which I will be for absolute beginners who are interested in trading and by the time probably you will watch this video I will have much more videos on trading. So as a, later I will start posting more advanced videos on trading indicators, on trading strategies here on TechWolf if you are interested guys. And next step after you have educated yourself already familiarized yourself with trading in general with trading terminology and you want to start trading is to choose your trading market decide which market you want to trade in and that's exactly why at the beginning of this video i told you about my experience as this is also one important step in every trader's life to choose where or what markets you are going to trade and you can trade stocks shares or companies you can trade forex market which are currency peers you can trade commodities which is gold silver oil etc guys and you can trade cryptocurrencies bitcoin ethereum and other digital currencies and this is very important for any trader to decide on what market he is going to trade as no trader trades every market out there most likely if you will become a trader you will be trading one market and mostly only about three to five assets in that particular market because you will need to familiarize yourself with movements of that particular asset or stock or cryptocurrency how price is moving for that asset what is volatility for that asset and many other aspects as each market has its own dynamics risks and opportunities choose one that aligns with your interests and risk tolerance guys select a reliable broker a broker acts as an intermediary between you and the financial markets and broker is pretty much the same as trading platform as i told you earlier in this video as i already have a video and by the way i will leave a link to this video 
you so you can choose a reliable broker if you are interested to do so guys so check it out in description or in first pinned comment so if you are new to trading don't get confused by word broker when choosing a broker consider regulation ensure the broker is regulated by reputable authority sec or sec or fca fees look at the transparent fee structure trading platform choose a user-friendly platform with necessary tools and resources customer support good customer support is essential for resolving issue quickly so customer support also should be a priority whenever you are choosing a broker for example if something happens with your payment or for example with your trade you can quickly resolve this problem by customer support and develop trading plan a solid trading plan includes goals define your financial goals and risk tolerance a strategy choose a trading strategy that suits your goals for example trading day trading swing trading and risk management set rules of for managing risks such as stop loss orders and position sizing record keeping keep a trading journal to track your trades and analyze your performance so also important step guys record keeping keep your statistics follow each of your trade understand why you have opened each trade and understand why who you have closed each trade and write it down so you are able to learn from your mistakes and practice with a demo account before you even start trading and you have no experience practice with demo account almost all brokers which are out there or most of the brokers offer demo accounts where you can practice trading with virtual money this means that you can start trading with fake or virtual money and this helps you get familiar with the trading platform and test your strategies without risking real money. Use this opportunity to refine your trading skills and gain confidence. And once you have gained confidence, start trading with real money. Once you are confident in your skills, you can start trading with real money. Start small to manage risks and gradually increase your investment as you gain experience. As the bigger will be the amount you are trading with, the more stress you will have with each trade. So start small so you understand what exactly you are doing and in trading all these brokers or trading platforms are earning on commissions and commissions they are taking whenever you are opening a position and whenever you are closing the position that's exactly where trading platform is making its money and whenever you are opening position and whenever you are closing the position and if you are not in profit that's how you will be losing money this is very crucial to understand for absolute beginners guys so so before you open a position before you open a trade it is the same as opening a position make sure that you are hundred percent sure that this position or your trade opening matches your strategy and continuously learn and adapt the financial markets are continuously evolving and successful traders adapt to these changes stay updated with market news continue your education and be willing to tweak your strategies as needed joining trading communities and for Forums can also provide the valuable insights and support so the conclusion becoming a trader requires commitment education and strategic approach by understanding the basics educating yourself choosing the right market and broker developing a solid trading plan and continuously learning you can embark on successful trading journey remember trading is not a get rich scheme or it is not a gambling but a skill that requires patience and discipline and traders are trading probabilities they are not gambling their money just by opening a position chaotically or based on their emotions or just that they think that market will go one way or the other before trader opens a position or before trader a closed position he has a plan and that plan is based on many things in trading so yes guys i hope that this video helped you to understand a little bit about trading and where to start and what steps you should take and if you found this video useful leave a like share this video subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one